All right, Joe here. Welcome back to We Need to Talk. This is the show that looks at football on the internet over the past seven days. Seven days that has seen Sayer Klasinac beat off some knife-wielding robbers. Ben Foster rapping. At this age, how would a man still hate him? I'm born in a different country, but here never been on vacation. One hand on the girl I'm dating, one hand on the cash I'm making. Come through like Funky Friday and have all of your man them skating. I see man them skating! <laughs> and James Milner get called boring on Love Island. <laughs> anyway, this week we need to talk about Antoine Griezmann. Yes, it's Mr. La Decision himself, a.k.a. Mr. Flip Flop, who, of course, has already been involved in one of the biggest transfers of the summer, 120 million euros from Atletico Madrid to Barcelona. I know what you're thinking at home. The transfer's already done and dusted. There's photos of him in the kit. He's already played minutes in a pre-season friendly, and he's been running his mouth about how excited he is to play alongside Lionel Messi, which every new Barcelona signing apparently contractually has to do. So what is this title all about? Is it just Adam Templeman clickbait nonsense? Not quite. There is something to it because Javier Tebas, the La Liga president, has come out publicly to say despite the move already taking place, it could well still be blocked. The reason it could be blocked is that Atleti are claiming the deal was actually done back in March. And in March, Antoine Griezmann's buyout clause sat at 200 million euros, meaning that Barcelona have paid 80 million euros short of that buyout clause. Now, Atletico have handed all of this information over to FIFA, who are currently investigating the deal. And if they find Barcelona guilty of tapping a player up early, then the transfer could well be null and void. This has been backed up by the La Liga president who said it is possible to block a player's transfer after it happens. We'll have to decide on what course of action to take. Basically, what would happen is that Griezmann would have his player's license revoked. Now, whether or not that means he goes back to Atletico or stays at Barcelona and is unable to play for the club for a period of time remains to be seen either way. If they're found guilty, Barcelona, this is going to become an absolute storm. It's already turning into a bit of a saga. Atletico Madrid are not happy. They feel they're owed another 80 million euros. Barcelona feel that they managed to get the deal done legally and he's already their player. But what do you guys think? Will this transfer actually happen? It's technically happened. But will he be blocked from playing for the club? It's so complicated. I don't know whether I've explained that well. I've tried my best. If you want more information, read the BBC article. It's better than the way I've worded it, I'll be honest. Before we move on to the good, the bad and the ugly, on last week's hot takes, Doogie Critchley claimed that if the video got to 12,000 likes, he would get waxed live on air. 12,000. So that's so many. <laughs> 12,000 likes, Doogie Critchley gets waxed live. So over to the iPhone recording of that happening. Right, we promised it in the Delic hot takes the week before this one that if it got to 12,000 likes, I would be waxed. You guys did your merry work and got it to 12,000 <laughs> likes within a matter of days. So I'm getting a waxing. Are you uh, wearing a Juve top? Am I wearing? No, this is coming off. Come on, Delic. He's nervous, look at his face. I can face. only apologise for what you're about to see. I would have got in better shape if I knew this was happening. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I'm keeping this hair. I'm pat your eyes, seriously. Oh, I've, been, I've been rubbing too. Okay. So do I just do I just apply it? There is options for, for areas. Oh, that feels a bit excessive. One more one first. I thought we were doing back. Oh! <laughs> I accidentally started. <laughs> why are we why are we starting here? We said back. He is <laughs> How long do you have to lay awake? Can you put them all on? Do you want me to mirror them? Can you put so them all on? Do you want one this side? Now? Yeah. Can I have? Can I have, a, can I have symmetry? Because otherwise I'm just going to look like a <laughs> naked mole rat. Any excuse to touch any this shag pile? Right. And the third one here. No, no, no. Back. I think. Back. Oh, back's oh. Oh, no, these two. These two. Look at <laughs> the horns. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is going on? Famous, this is just his standard yeah, working I mean, Friday. This bit needed to come off anyway. These, these bits are rogue on the flanks, mate. Yeah, <laughs> that is awful from you. He more creases than one of Jet Lab's t-shirts. Look at the amount of hair that's set to come off. That, that, is, that is smooth. Oh, okay. Right, not too far in the corner. Let's get some light right. Stop backing Wait, off. can I have something to bite into? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing with his <laughs> Ready? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, that's how are you feeling? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Last night was straight off that. Yeah, it's all. That, it doesn't look like I've even taken a strip. Look how much it's off. Yeah. We made a dent. I'm going for the jewel lander. A Kimbo. Oh, <laughs> you bastard. God. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. It's this more of a so thinning than a pure wax, isn't it? Oh my god. It's, like, it's like an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> an arrow in his head. It looks unaffected. Okay, <laughs> you ready, dudes? Yeah. Oh, 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 that's yeah, really cool. That These be, are cheap. That would be much appreciated. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, are we done? Are we done? I think we're done. Oh, the back is sore. Oh, oh. I'm, scared. I'm stepping on Doogie's hair. Oh. <laughs> it's stuck on my shoe. Oh, no. <laughs> Doogie's hair's on the Air Force. There we go. Oh, well, a round of applause for Doogie. Hello, everybody. Thanks for the lights, guys. Need to go wash off. Grim. Zero credibility left after that. Cheers. <laughs> Time for the good, the bad and the ugly and the good this week comes from the KNVB over in Holland because this week and throughout the course of the season they are going to be trialling a new VAR system in which the referee will actually be mic'd up to the stadium announcer's system and explain all of the decision making process as it happens. Now I've actually been in the stadium when VAR takes place and it's an absolute nightmare. You have no clue what is going on, this trial system could well still be an issue. Basically, it's like the NFL. I don't know whether it's gonna be a good thing, at least it's a step in the right direction. You have to have some explanation system in place for people that are sat in the stands. The bad this week is about Marco Asensio, who decided not to travel with the Spanish under-21 side and instead commit fully to Real Madrid's pre-season tour. And sadly, this week he ruptured his ACL and his meniscus, meaning he is likely to miss the entire season at his age, really not good news, just terribly sad. Zidane was clearly visibly gutted on the sidelines. Get well soon, Asensio, because it's just not nice to see. The Ugly this week is all about Mamadou Sakho, who is actually suing WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, to the tune of £13 million over claims that a drugs test blunder torpedoed his career at Liverpool. He basically is not happy. Wadder are going up against him. I don't know what the result of this is going to be. Either way, it's a catastrophe. So that's it for this absolutely chaotic episode of We Need to Talk. I have no clue whether the story about Griezmann actually made sense because it's one of the most complicated stories to explain humanly possible. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you go over to Continental Club on Eurofootball Daily and check that out. They're talking more about European football. Thanks very much for watching. Auf Wiedersehen.